it's Christina and today I wanted to talk about hydrangea colors. This question is all over the place, very confusing, so let's clear it up once and for all for every hydrangea, not just the kind that turn blue. So what determines a hydrangea's color? First, it's the species. Does that hydrangea have a color? And then it's the genetics of that specific plant that will determine the intensity of the color. So let's start with the biggest question of all, big leaf and mountain hydrangeas. Now these hydrangeas do change color depending on the chemistry of the soil. They're the only types of hydrangeas that you can actually change the color for. This, um, so that's hydrangea macrophylla and hydrangea serrata. So I'm with Let's Dance Can Do, um, and in different, color, different chemistry soils, it will be a different color. These types of hydrangeas will be pink in alkaline soils, uh, pink in kind of a blend of color in neutral soils, and blue or purple in acidic soils. Now to talk about soil pH. Now it's all on a scale, and so alkaline, neutral, and acidic are all assigned a number range. So if you do a soil test in your garden, you will get a number, and then that will tell you the acidity or alkalinity of your soil. Alkaline soils are anywhere from seven and a half and above. Neutral soils are from seven and a half to six and a half. And acidic soils are anything below six and a half. Now, the big question, how do you change the pH of your soil and how do you change the color of your hydrangeas? So if you have acidic soil and you would like pink flowers instead of that purple or blue, you can add lime to raise the soil pH. If you have neutral or alkaline soil and you would like to lower your pH to get those purple or blue flowers, you will need to add some garden sulfur with aluminum. Now this is the sticking point. You need the aluminum. It's a naturally occurring element in the soil, so um, if you don't have it, you need to add it. And it's actually the aluminum that turns the flowers blue. Now the plant will only give you those blue or purple flowers when the soil is acidic enough for the plant to draw up and metabolize that aluminum. Now you'll notice that I don't have a bundle of nails or any coffee grounds because I recommend that you just stick to the store-bought products. They are proven to work and you won't have the headache or heartache of watching your hydrangeas not change. <laughs> You might be thinking, great, I know how to change my soil pH. How long will it take for those flowers to actually change color? It can take up to a year, so you really have to be patient and you have to be careful and follow the directions for the soil amendment that you use because if you change the pH too quickly, that can actually hurt the plant and the surrounding plants. So early in the season, you might see some browning or burgundy on the foliage if the pH is changed too quickly because then the plant can't actually absorb the phosphorus. Uh, later in the season, if the foliage turns purple, it's probably just fall color. Now the next type of color change a hydrangea can experience is based on day length and temperature. So some panicle hydrangeas and some oak leaf hydrangeas will make this color change. They will start the season out either green or white and then as time goes on they will slowly darken to pink or even some really dark pink reds. So the trigger for this change is the shortening days, so that's when you'll see the color change toward fall, and the cooling temperatures. There are a few things that can prevent your hydrangeas from turning this beautiful pink color, and that is if the temperatures are too high at night, uh, if they're not getting enough water, or if they are getting wet a lot. If there's high humidity or maybe your irrigation um, is getting them wet day after day after day. So what can you do to make sure that you get the best color change from your panicle hydrangea or your oak leaf? Uh, and that's essentially just to make sure that you're not getting the flowers wet and to keep them well watered. So that is a layer of mulch and checking with your water meter to make sure that the soil is moist, but not too moist. And last are the hydrangeas that don't really experience much of a color change at all. That's smooth and climbing hydrangeas. Now there are a couple of exceptions. There are some that experience more of a shift in color, but in general, they start the season out, they're white or they're pink, and they stay that color until fall when they have their green or um, usually like a dusty tan color. 
Now for any hydrangea, it could turn brown prematurely and you might be thinking, okay, do I have to cut this off? Um, and the answer is it depends all on your preference. Some people like to leave any hydrangea flower um, standing for the winter because it provides interest. Sometimes you'll have all of these beautiful hydrangea flowers uh, that are all pink and then there's this brown one in the middle. And all you'll wanna do is take that hydrangea flower and follow the stem all the way back to a healthy set of leaves and cut right above it, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So we have covered all of the main types of hydrangeas, anything that you would find on our website and in your local garden center. If you have questions about hydrangea color change, ask in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.